I personally think the challenge for society and the reasons why we're having wildfires and outages is because we're burning too many fossil fuels and causing climate change. So we must absolutely, within the next decade, by 2030, move completely off burning fossil fuels in our cars and in our homes and in our work buildings. How are we gonna do that if we don't start now? I sort of thought with going solar and an electric car, I would pretty much done my share. But a year ago, I started to hear this word called uh, building decarbonization start to pop up. So we decided, uh, my wife and I, we said, let's go get some bids and try to figure out how we're actually gonna proceed with this project. And uh, talked to a number of vendors, looked out on the web for uh, various blogs and websites, and I ended up finding uh, a contractor who focused on uh, zero net energy homes and energy retrofits, uh, not uh, even 20 minutes from where I live here in Lafayette. And uh, they came over and did an energy audit of our home, an energy assessment, and they were looking very holistically at our home to see uh, how we could improve the performance of our home and what it was going to take, uh, what would the steps be to get us to uh, go all electric in our home. We used to have an all gas cooktop here. I'm going to turn this thing on to high and if you look closely you can see a, you heard it beep a little. It's just PB means power boost and it's this um, part of the range that's actually going to be heating up now and interestingly if I put my hand on it I can leave it there and there's actually no heat coming out of it because an induction electric cooktop uses magnet technology to cook. Pans that work are pans with magnets. This is a magnet and, and I'm going to show you over here. I've prepared some cold water and we're going to just um, pour some water in here and see uh, how it's going to get boiled, right? And so what's happening here is that the magnets are creating, are reacting with the iron in this pan and making it, those ferrous things rub against each other and start to actually, the pan itself is what's being heated now. It's not in the, the surface that's being heated. Uh, and what we're going to see here is... We let's see the steam rising already. Yeah, they say that the um, induction electric cooktops heat about uh, 30 to 50 percent faster than a gas cooktop. And what you should also see is that there's no gas burning underneath, which uh, would actually have emissions and um, pollution, carbon monoxide, formaldehyde, nitrous oxide coming out into our homes. Uh, you can see how, whoa, look at it, it's, it's, it's already boiling there. Yep. So I'm definitely not touching that. This is called a ductless mini split system. And it basically is that white wall unit that you see over there. And I actually had eight of them installed in my house so that we have basically eight zones. And that allows us to actually do heating and cooling all with this one device, which was something sort of new to me. Uh, this device is actually um, uh, works by remote control. Right now it's set for 74 degrees of heating. And what's happening here with this heat pump technology is that it's connected to an outdoor unit that is actually got the heat bump in it outside and what it's doing outside is looking for free heat from the outside environment and it's bringing that heat in to the inside unit here and then this is blowing that heat into the room itself. What does it mean to be 300% efficient? How, how is that possible? Anytime you burn or combust something, it's gonna lose, you don't get 100% efficiency from, they have seven or 8% in losses. So 92% is where I had on my furnace. I actually had only a 58% efficient hot water heater. Uh, using heat pump electric technology as opposed to the gas, um, fire that used to be under, you know, sort of cooking that boiling water in my old 15 year old hot water heater. So there's this indoor tank which is storing the hot water and there are these pipes that lead under my full, uh, crawl space and grow all the way to the outside. These units that you see here on the left we see the Sandin hot water unit and on the right you see the Fujitsu which is for my heating and cooling. Uh, they both are heat pumps using pretty much the, uh, similar technologies to, um, they're called air air source heat pumps. So they're looking for heat in the air. And this air source heat pumps are really dry, you know, come to be a very good consumer price point. What I've come to learn is that not only was it possible that it's actually getting even more and more economical to do that for my cars, to my appliances, 
and uh, that those are better performing cars, better performing appliances, and life is actually better quality having gotten rid of this. So it wasn't really just for the planet, but also for my pocketbook, it's better. And I would encourage viewers to try it out. I can't not be sure if it's gonna work for everybody's home in every part of the country, but at least for me, the experience has been super positive.